Can any relationship survive a tainted, scandalous love affair? Please welcome relationship expert Hassani Pettiford to the show. Hassani, how you doing? Well, let's deal with Joel and, and Radia and Senny, and uh, uh, maybe there's plausible deniability here. If Joel had done what he did while he was broken up, maybe with Senny, is that possible? But no, that's not possible. Yeah, because that's, I, what that's, that's not that's possible. What they that's I not possible. Her. But even I yet, and still, you. if that is the case, that's crazy. I asked you it amount of times to tell me while we were t broken up, even when we was breaking up, we were still having sex and talking. Exactly. You were still coming to my Exactly, you and I told you the truth. No, they asked the no, question, no, no, no. and I told no, you the truth. No, I didn't no, lie about no, it. No, Every no. time you okay, asked me, I told you. Okay, but the lie detector test just came back that you lied. So if you're saying that it was... Because it picked up on something else, they didn't ask you specifically. If you're saying it was during the break... All right, hold on a minute, hold on. Saying, Asani... You're the expert. Yes. Talk about this relationship. Well, this is a classic example of what happens. While I applaud you for telling the truth and not sleeping around with her cousin, her, her cousin, there's been a relationship where you've slept around with other women, so there's been deception all throughout it. And so that's why we're here today. Now, analogy. If I were to ball up a fist and punch you in the face huh. and knock you on the floor, it would create a physical wound. Preach. It may take you two hours to two days to heal from it. But when you have certain behaviors and conducts in a relationship, it can create emotional wounds, which can take two months to two years to get over. So, the, so can, you, can you say that one more time to this man who's been telling me that? So, it so, don't take that much time to get over something. So, so hold on, hold on. Saying sorry, and that was in the past, is not enough. Listen, she has uh, a whole lot of trust issues, her paranoia, all the things she's going through are attached to the wound that she's carrying around. And even though it happened in the past, that wound is still raw. Moving on and leaving the past in the past doesn't solve the problem. She wants to know that you are empathetic, that you are more remorseful and, and sorrowful, I do all of that. but your disposition doesn't display that. And and so she wants to feel that you care for her, feel that you love her, and if you do, then you're going to have to change your conduct and your behavior in the relationship in order and for her to heal. I do, and that's what she asked about the last but question. It that's question asked. But it doesn't happen, listen, it does not happen overnight. There's a process. Hey, Sonny, let's go to Harold and Lucinda and Santana. We got problems here, too. Now, concerning Harold, this is an indication of a man who is a two-bit hustler who's playing two women at the same time. Okay. Beyond, beyond the cheating and the infidelity, the, the biggest issue I see here is that they met, they had sex too fast, they entered into a relationship too fast, they moved in too fast. Uh, the fact that children are calling you daddy, that's yeah. happening too fast. Too fast. And, when, and when he admitted, hold on, when he admitted that he cheated, her, her reaction switched too fast. So in one moment, she wants to marry him. The next moment, she's saying how no good he is. And so, no, no, your feelings are justifiable. The point I'm making is when you can quickly get into a relationship too quickly, you can quickly get out. There's no foundation here. Well, then he should have just said, I don't want to be with you no more. This ain't working out. He ain't never said that. No, you're right. You did not say that. Lots of times I say that. You're absolutely right. And then pack yourself up and move out. On top of that. No, you on top. Oh, that, then, hold on, listen, 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 listen. Well, on top of that, the origin of a thing determines its nature. So if it starts off bad, you have the foundation for a bad relationship. And so for you to consider entering into a relationship after knowing what you know, that you're going to get what you asked for. If you're willing to accept this now, just prepare to have issues of trust in your relationship, because that's what you're setting yourself Good up Good point. For. When we continue, it's the bottom line. For more info.